You have Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker himself. He's kind of reflecting on Luke Skywalker and the journey that he's gone through, and he said he feels failure because his nephew, who he believed was the chosen one, fell to the dark side. What? I cannot even begin to fathom the fact that we're actually going this route where, once again, we're reconsidering who is the chosen one. Qui-Gon thought it was Anakin. Well, okay, maybe that didn't turn out for the best. Obi-Wan thinks Luke is the chosen one. Okay, now Luke thinks it's his nephew. Basically, it's just the next... Whoever can whip out a lightsaber at this point has a chance to be the chosen one. Jesse, do you like this 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 concept that this is going to be now a central theme in this sequel trilogy era? Well, I mean, this could be a ploy to kind of throw fans for a loop, which is what I'm kind of hoping for because I don't... We've already kind of gone through the whole chosen one thing with the prequels, and then it really wasn't mentioned in... You know the original. It was the directly. the concept of the chosen one was never mentioned in the original. Yeah, it was kind of like implied. Went implied after the prequels and everything, but um, I definitely kind of I'm kind of done with that. You know, I kind of want this to be you know its own thing. I get that. I and, I, and I'm right there and with I, you. I, part of me, I still think it looks looks the chosen one. I would love you know? that, and I'm gonna be honest. Growing up. I always thought Luke was, especially after you watch the prequels, because, well, Luke has to bring Vader back. So maybe Anakin is an ingredient. Is I, I don't know. Is the Skywalker family the chosen one? Is it all just... I, I, I don't know. I do think what they're trying to do with this trilogy is go more into the lore. Like, they're really going to try and expand that. And that's something that we got with the Clone Wars, right? We got to expand the lore, really go in. I think that's what we're going to get here. Uh, but I'm very hesitant, David, what do you think about this? I don't need this to be a central theme of this new trilogy. We, we've we had that for the prequels. It's old news to me. Why are we trying to rehash even more of the old stuff? And I don't want anyone... I, mean, I feel bad. I feel bad when fans get out there and they use the term rehash because I think they have like legitimate points. Like, I think you have a very legitimate point saying this is another rehash. <coughs> kind of what Jesse and I were alluding to just moments ago. Uh, but there are... It's not even constant beats. Like, when Lucas talked about when he was constructing the, the prequels, right, he said the Star Wars saga is kind of like a poem, and it has and, and it's going to not repeat itself, but it's going to mimic throughout, you know, in the stanzas, right? This is just, like, blatant copy and paste almost. Mm-hmm. And I hope that... I want fans to, like, voice their opinions, and I don't want people getting attacked. I was watching on social media the other day, and this guy was just, like, ripping up this dude on Twitter, and I was like... Everyone gets their opinions. If you like it, you get to voice it. If you don't like it, you get to voice it. I'm not saying that I hate it. Yeah. But is it something, do I want to see word for word or, you know, story arc, you know, like a complete copy kind of thing? I would love for this to be a thing where Luke had to go bring Anakin back. And now someone's got to bring Luke back to bring the balance. And I'm okay if... This is a thing where, to bring balance, you have to have a more inclusive view of how the Force operates. Because as we're kind of seeing, I think, um, with Force Awakens and what we saw in the Clone Wars is, you know, no longer are the Jedi this pure um, set. You know, like, they had their faults too. And so maybe, yeah, Luke has to have an understanding of the dark side. And by mastering both elements, the light and the dark then he can bring balance. And maybe this fall with Kylo involved and now Rey getting involved, maybe that's part of the equation. And that, I think if done correctly, I can buy into as a fan because uh, I, I, I like Luke being the central focus. 